How's it going guys? And yes, just like it says, we're about to cut the muffler off my 99 Chevy Silverado. I'm gonna show you how to get that done real quick. But all right guys, you might recognize this thing, or you might not, I don't know. But the Volvo semi truck I had, I actually traded that for this truck because you know, it just makes sense for me. I don't need a semi truck, I need a truck. As you can imagine, it's got like 300,000 miles on it and it's pretty crappy, but it gets the job done. <laughs> but it's really quiet, so we're gonna fix that today. But yeah, this will work with pretty much any vehicle, but um, you know, be kind to others. Don't hack the muffler off your vehicle and rev at the middle of the mall parking lot and stuff. Come on, be better than that. <laughs> All right, now to the fun part. Now you can get this done a couple of different ways, but you want to make sure you grab either a death wheel, which I don't recommend because the reason there's a reason they call them death wheels. And you kind of if you get it off angle, you know, it might explode and bad things will happen. So what I recommend is grabbing a sawzall. Um, you know, don't go hack and get your metal muffler with your grandfather's wood blade on there. You don't want to do that. You'll probably get pretty mad about that. So you want to get that changed out to something like this. So make sure you got a metal blade on there. That should kind of go without saying. But anyway, crawl up under there and hack the muffler off this thing and see what it sounds like. But first, let's get a quick sound clip of what it sounds like. 100% stock with converters and factory exhaust all the way back. So let's get to it. Now to the fun part. All right, now that you got yourself under the vehicle, this is on the dry or passenger side, right in front of the rear tire. This is your muffler, this massive long thing right here. And way up front, if you guys can see them, are the converters. They're just coming right off the manifolds. Not cutting those off yet, but I am going to cut those off once I you know share the rest of the plans for this thing but we'll get this muffler off here first what we're going to do we're going to leave this hanger right here and just cut it right here so you can probably cut this and just put like a little turn down and be done if you just wanted to run converters with no muffler which from my experience actually makes for a decent sounding vehicle all right guys so we got it cut right there um, I think you're probably better off like cutting from the bottom up. <laughs> if you, I was cutting from the top down and then pinching the blade and it turned into a nightmare. But anyway, we got it down. Or at least put like a jack under it to support it or something. So, I'm going to cut as close to the muffler on the back side as I can so I can save exhaust pipes so and maybe I can use it when I'm uh, deleting the cats on this thing. And I'm going to cut the metal hanger as close to the pipe as I can because I'm putting the muffler back on this thing which I'll show you all that in a second. And I'll probably just cut the hanger right there towards the frame at the back because I don't plan on having any, you know, tips coming out of the back of the truck or anything. But if you're going to do that, you might want to leave that guy right there. But anyway, let's get this thing out of here and see what it sounds like. All right, so this is what we got taken off. And this is what we're going to replace it with. This is a Flowmaster. I can't remember what series it is. I just had it on one of my R7s. I'm pretty sure it's quite loud as far as the Flowmaster series goes. So probably be cutting this off and this all that off. Welding that, because that's the inlet. Welding that to where the muffler is and just having like a little turn down right here. So but of course I kind of welded that up close. So might end up leaving that on, having no turn down. I don't know yet. <laughs> Yeah, so this is what we're going to place it with, but first, let's get a sound check of what it sounds like with no muffler and the converter still, so.
that's not too bad. It's not stupid loud or crazy loud or anything like that. But I don't want it to be loud at all. I just want it to have a, you know, a better sound than just stock. So, plan is, I'll put the Flowmaster on, fix that gnarly exhaust leak I have at the manifold, and just kind of fill it out from there. I know if I take the converters off, it's going to make it way loud. So, I'm not sure. Like I said, don't want it to be crazy loud because, like, I want it to be comfortable when I'm driving it, you know? Anyway, uh, next sound, like I said, we'll get this Flowmaster welded on there, I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like, and then we'll kind of figure out if I'm cut the converters off of it or not. <laughs> yeah, give me one second. Well, like I said, we got it welded back there. It slips, just slipped over and welded around it. Forgot what series Flowmaster this is, but maybe like a Super 40 or something like that. I'm not sure. But we got it, got the hanger in there, got it welded at the tip a little bit, and it comes back here and welds to the, the case itself. Just trying to support it so it don't break and fall off the truck. Sorry about the wind. pretty much it like I said um it doesn't sound that bad <laughs> it doesn't sound that good either but if you want to hear it without the converters uh stay tuned I'm gonna get to that but like I said I just wanted to do something with that old flow master I'm trying to take away some of the scraps so I just didn't want to throw it away so I'd rather throw away the factory muffler than like throw away that so but inside the let's do that yes have to slam my door because it's doing the the, the common sagging crap that these things do. But inside... It doesn't sound that bad. It's not very droney going down the road or anything, so it's not bad. Yeah, I gotta fix that massive exhaust leak I got like right at the manifold. Like somebody used the wrong gasket and they like turned it to the side to try to make it work, but well, it didn't work, so. And I got a high idle too, I gotta fix that. But we will get to it. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.